All new instances of the SAP HANA Cloud Data Lake now come with the ability to store files in the data lake. In order to enable access to these files, you must first configure the data lake. Let's open up the data lake configuration and set up a home directory. We then supply a certificate authority bundle in order to enable authentication of our user when we log in to SQL on files to perform actions. Next, to add a new user, we'll just give it an admin role, then supply the certificate information that will be used to validate the certificate when the user connects. Once that's finished, we can save our configuration and then we'll be ready to use our data lake files. Once we have our file container created, we can start using it. The file container is accessed via a simple REST API. We'll just go through some curl examples to show you how to access the container. So first we will get a list of the files in our container. As we can see here, we get a file not found exception, indicating that we have no files in the container. So now I want to upload a file. To do that, I'll issue a put request. This port request uploads a local file called region.tbl in our file container. Now, if we go back and execute our get request again to get a list of the files, we can see we now have a file called region.tbl uploaded to our home directory. So if you want to read this file, it's a simple get request using the open API. You might recognize this API as very similar to web HDFS, and that is indeed the API that we follow in terms of giving access to the data lake files. So here we can see we've executed an open request and we've got the content of our file. With our data uploaded into the data files container, we can now access it using our data lake IQ connection. If the data is in CSV, Parquet, or C format, we can create tables against it or we can load the data natively into the data lake. So here we have an example where we're loading the data into the data lake. So I'm going to create a table and I'm going to load the data from the data lake files, the region table that we previously uploaded, and then I'm going to select from this table so we can execute that. And we should see in a second that the table has been loaded and we can see the data inside of it. There we go. One of the things that we can do with files stored in the data lake file service is querying them directly without having to load them into the data lake IQ store. So we might want to do that if we have a large volume of file data for which we want to do some simple filtering or some pre-exploration on this data before loading it into the data lake IQ or on SAP HANA Cloud HANA database, for example. In order to do that, we use our data lake IQ service. And the first thing we do is to create a schema in the file service. The file service is the thing that will access the files and execute queries. Then we'll create a table with the standard create table statement against the file service. This will create a virtual table, which points to the file service table, and then we'll add a data source to that table. So this will go out and execute these statements. Now as a comment, I've shown another example of where we can actually specify an entire directory full of files to use as a data source, whereas in this case, we're using a single file. Once we have all that completed, we can query this table from our data lake IQ connection as if it were a regular table. This goes out and uses the SQL on Files engine, which is a serverless infrastructure component of SAP HANA Cloud Data Lake to execute the query. And you can see here, it returns our results. To learn more about SAP HANA Cloud Data Lake, check our website. Thanks for watching.